Colorful is known to play a lot of different strategies, so he could do anything, but definitely expecting Keeper tier 1. And Lin, let's see what he goes for. He's been peon scouting on this map in the past. Um, creeping, I think, just the item and then looking for harass. There are a couple ways to play on this map. Personally, I like to creep the uh, Goblin Shop Herc first, hoping for a 1 of Illusion or a Sentry Ward so you can actually better track the Keeper movement across this map just because there's so many small camps for them to take with just a Keeper or units. Like, you can spread your Huntresses across the map um, apart from your Keeper and creep in two places at once. So it's really hard for the Orc to harass. And then at the same time, there's three different expansion spots you can put your Tree of Life in. So it's really hard for the Orc to be in every place at once, which is why sometimes you see Orcs going for the shop first, just so they can get that info with that item. We see Lin building the shop forward. So it looks like he's going to creep just the item and then pick up salves and then look for some harass. And he is indeed Peon Scouting. Peon Scout actually moving across over to the Turtle Camp. So what he's going to do is he's going to creep the Ogre. The Peon is going to see whether or not the Keeper heads over to the Turtle Camp. If not, the Blade is going to head over to the right side of the map because he knows that's through process of elimination. That's where the Keeper is going to be. Okay, so all this just for quick salves and go. And the Keeper just probably going to get chased by the Blade. And you don't want this Keeper to get level 3. That is the main really goal good, for Lin. Really good creeping here from Colorful. Uses the Ancient of War to target the trolls because it does this extra damage to them. And the Ogre was in position so that both Treants were able to hit the Ogre as soon as they were summoned, despite the Ensnare. Okay, takes the item. It's a ring. I mean, not the greatest item. And like you said, yeah, he's no, he's Peon Scout sees the turtle, so he knows exactly where the Keeper is. Does he go straight up? Or like you said, oh, he might actually go for the... Uh, Circle it, then go, or, or just does uh, he he's grab the item? This camp. Stands in the shot in, in this exact position, which causes the priest not to cast inner fire. And yeah, he's gonna creep this camp fully. Maybe gonna leave the trapper, but this um, this item is so important for keeping track of the keeper in the mid game. Sentry wards is what you want, or illusion. Both are good. Yep, does leave the trapper. Just gets level 2 and moves across the map. Colorful doing the most standard creep route. Uh, orange into turtles. Into kobolds in the top left. And this peon scout is probably going to scout out Colorful moving down. Usually after you finish the camp, you either go for the murlocs or run straight to the orc. And try to creep the leftover creeps in their green camp. Uh, orange camp, I mean. Not going to be able to finish the rest of the camp, but Lin is going to spot this keeper. And he's just yep, going to right click him. Find him. But Colorful running straight to the shop. Lin doesn't have any spots to buy the shop, the the uh, teleportation staff. Colorful buys it as well as the circlet. And now he's got free range to teleport across the map. Sending this wit Maybe could TP over to the Swiss from the bottom side to go for the turtles. Lin preemptively moves towards the bottom side of the map. Because he knows the keeper might TP down there. But the keeper just doesn't TP. And walks over to this Murloc camp on the left. Lin gonna walk down here, probably by his own staff. And really nice, he has his peon scouting on the left. He can still buy the staff and TP over here. He doesn't exactly know where the keeper is. Now he does. Decides not to buy the staff because this peon is being focused, so he wouldn't be able to teleport to it even if he did buy the staff. Colorful anticipates that Lin's gonna run here. Decides not to start the Murloc camp. Actually, he does. Okay, Lin just chases the archer. Okay, Keeper okay, and now does, Colorful TP's yeah. out over it and goes for the turtle camp. Yeah, but Lin's aware of, of this. The... Grunt's, Grunt's right here. Lin is totally aware of what's going on. He just needs to chase and get that Blade yeah, Master down. Could he get that? Over, and he actually does seal the last hit with the Grunt's. Oh, the Keeper. Oh, the Keeper's trapped. Keeper's surrounded. Oh, Grunt block, Lin. Okay, he wants to stick around. He entangled the Grunt again. And he knows, and the Speed Scroll was already used by Lin. So he can't focus his Keeper. Go, gonna go for the deny. Nice, does get it. So far, so good for Lin. I mean, losing the grunt does suck, but denying the XP, keeping that keeper away from level three is uh, definitely what you want. No expansion behind this for for colorful. Actually, fast tier two with a hunter's hall. Ooh, Triant gets the last hit on that small turtle. 
colorful snaking the Smurlock camp because he knows Linda's there with the tree. Pretty nice. That's going to give him level 3 keeper. This is going to get a little more dicey. A lot of hunts and archers. Um, is this just a light pressure until he goes into tier 2 production? Um, still no expo here from Colorful. He could have expoed as he was taking the turtle camp. But opting not to go for it, I'm kind of interested to see what he does. Maybe he just drops two lures here. Maybe he goes tier 3. Yeah, we usually see oh, the expansion for attack. sure. Okay, now he picks up an alchemist. Gonna try to harass the shadow hunter. Uh, waiting for the staff, I believe. On the keeper. Yeah, staff's in. Might get a grunt here. So he's going away. But he's gonna find. Okay, he doesn't actually go for it. Whoa, this is like super timing. This is like a super timing game right now. Lin just moving everything back. That keeper was so close to entangling, and that's a dead grunt. Yeah, a lot of close calls here. A lot of trying to outmaneuver each other in this early game, as is the case in this matchup in a lot of games that you see. Um, Lin is just so free, confused, though. though. Lin thinks there's an expansion. He's looking everywhere for it with the blade. Not creeping with the shadow. He's so confused. And you know what? So am I. I'm seeing quick uh, quick tier 3 tech for, uh, for Colorful as well. He's going to get this wisp, but... Alright, so Colorful actually going to tech tier 3 off, uh, off just one day's hunts. I'm not a big fan of this strategy, to be honest. I think Lin should counter tier 3 himself. Okay, Stop Jack, on the, the Jack on the Golem. Blade Master coming in. Barely misses it, but he does pick up the item. Yeah, scroll He's the beast. He's the first to hunt. Focuses it down. Counter purge on the, uh, Entangle on the Shaman. That is going to go down, but he gets a hunt for it before the Shaman goes down. Focuses the Archer. Oh, the Shaman getting really low. Hunts, this is so far so good. A really good fight for Lin because uh, Colorful's fighting in all these Serpent Wards and everything. And Snare actually from the Creep, that's going to help out Lin. But Lin's actually backing up. Yeah, this is actually Treant's level 2, not Entangle. I feel like Entangle might have been able to find some value. Especially with that TP in onto the, uh, onto the shop a little bit earlier. But here's the thing. If you're going to play Tier 3 with Hunts on one base... You need to creep very aggressively and find a lot of big camps. And he tries to do that by taking the slab, but he then doesn't even get the item. It takes him forever to finish that camp. And Lin trades okay there. Lin just gonna go for his expo, staying on tier two, getting the armor upgrade. Gonna drop the expo just with the regular great hole and not a tiny. What the hell is colorful doing, man? Still one OW, tier 3 tech almost done. What is he doing? Normally you'd see lores. It's not going to be lores. Is this like Yeah, no, it's fast? tier 1 on what base. It's, okay. it's, not, it's not uncommon. I mean, it's a little uncommon, but it's a viable strategy. I don't think it's the best one, but it can work for sure. A player's forces are under attack. I mean, if Lin takes a good fight, there's, like, not much buffer for this elf army. It's just going to get destroyed. And, like, one bad fight, the game's over. You don't have that sustain from the expansion that we normally see. And archers and hunts, man, they only go so far. Once we see, like, more and more shamans, the grunts. Uh, Lin already has his plus one armor upgrade. The shadow really nice is creeping. Here. Colorful cancels the expo with the solo keeper. And this is why I like tier two from the orc. Or tier three, I mean. Because... The Night Elf is teching, and that gives you the space to tech yourself. And having this expo uh, building on tier 2, it's really hard to keep it up as, and creep efficiently at the same time. Because the Keeper can just do this. Hilarious Flute and level 3 for the Shadow Hunter. So Lin is exactly where he needs to go. Now at the Health Fountain, he can heal up. Blade Master continuing to chase this Night Elf army. He wants to see what's going on, and he's going to see like no expansion, just archers and hunts, tier 3. Priestess yeah, but of Moon if you comes want to beat a tier 3 elf, massing tier 1, you need that expansion up, or you need your tier 3. And Lin doesn't have either. So I think this is actually still looking good for Colorful. 2 all on the archers, as the bottom out with the orb, and Lin can't win a fight here. Actually picks off the shop too, no reinforced defenses for Lin. Is he going to be able to get this item in the XP? Okay, he gets the XP, the item, push him in vuln on the Shadow Hunter. Very good. Yeah, Lin tries to get out. Speed scroll, not on everything yeah, though. The keeper, 
Keeper doesn't have any mana. Oh, this is actually good timing for Lin. He's going to be able to get out. Dicey situation there. Loses one shaman to the acid bomb there, but could have been worse, to be honest. But still, it's not looking great for Lin. He's got O2 armor, but um, no expo, no tier 3. And you just can't contend with this elf army with just pure grunt shaman on tier 2. I really don't think so. Colorful knows that too. Wisp Scout going to confirm that the expansion is still not going up. Good items though for Lin. So when like you actually cannot fight at all without an expansion? The Night Elf outputs way too much damage. Like you're on a lower tier army. So you need that tier 2 expo. Or what I like to do personally is tech tier 3 when you scout the lack of an expo or a tier 3 fast tier 3 timing. And then you can play one base with Grunt Shaman. You can pick up a Pit Lord 3rd. You're going to get... Uh, probably a beast theory for Kodos, War Drums. There's just a lot of things that tier 3 opens up for you. Oh, Run big actually jack. Has this one's gonna go down. Keeper falling behind, but he's gonna be able to solidify oh, this run. That's gonna lock it in. Probably didn't even need the entangle. Can confirm he did not. Okay, so now the Night Elf player going to be contesting this Overlord. Lin sticking around. I think he wants the item and the experience. Could just steal that with the solo blade. This is a tough fight, actually. Ogrelord helping out Lin a little bit. Nice shockwave on the archers. Lin's gonna try to go for it. He wants that item really badly. He's gonna have the advantage with the Windwalk last hit, but so much damage from this elf army. It's gonna be tough. Oh, Lin doesn't get the last oh, hit, in fact. It. And the Django. Such a good item for Colorful. Lin pops the Beast Bowl. He's gonna try to fight here. Need to see some lightning shields. Nice yeah. purges, nice purges on the keeper, but he needs to purge these treants. The treants are getting a lot of work done for free, essentially. Instant stops the heal spray. Grunt's dropping like flies, though. The focus fire on the archer is insane. Yeah, this is a this lot of DPS. Now. Shadowhunter's out of mana. And the Owl Scout, it makes it so hard to move Weaver around with the blade. Another entangle still for the keeper. This is just uh, okay. Lightning shield and the grunt is okay, but like you said, the DPS is just crazy. The blade taking a lot of damage. Gonna be able to live for now, but can Lin actually? Oh my God! He forces the TP. That and was the actually a, a pretty good fight for Lin, all things considered. But I mean, at the same time, you don't have the expo. You're fighting a tier three elf who's got a Django now. The bottom's level two. There's just so much damage output put from this army that. Again, the tier three, tier two orc army just isn't as good. Yeah, Lin's gonna Even scout that there's no natural. Lin scouts there's no expansion. Oh man, this is so crazy. He actually canceled the expansion, by the way, again. Colorful with the AP. Yeah, Lin getting a little desperate now. He knows he has to make a play. Runs to the fountain, and uh, is gonna try to creep it. I bet, but I mean, anything colorful does here is gonna hurt Lin. You know. A jack here would pretty much just kill him. Hitting the base is going to do massive damage as well, not even having reinforced defenses. Like, this play is the best thing Link can do, but the only way it would pay off is if Colorful just did nothing or crept his expansion. No speed scroll for Lin. This is going to be grim and Colorful with the creep jack. And Lin just has to, I think, fight this out. He does have the uh, fountain advantage for now. Level 4 in the Shadow Hunter helps as well. But look at the DPS, dude. The Raider just drops. 2-1 Archers. Down, He's got that going for him. Yeah, the healing is nice. But the Wisp coming in as well. The Dedos could be good on the Shadowhunter. Shadowhunter getting completely mind dry. The sh trying to go for the Shamans, actually. Nice Dedos from Colorful. Really nice. And look at the Archers. There's just too much damage. The Blade Master has an invul, Pops the invul, But what's he going to get? An Archer for this? This is looking really bad for Lin. I think this might be it. Trying to right-click the Keeper yeah. in a last-ditch effort, but the Blade's going to definitely fall. Blade goes down. No mana on the Shadow Hunter to keep him alive. And no more DPS on the Keeper. GG is called. And Colorful gets it done with one AOW. Yeah, solid play from Colorful, for sure. I mean, again, I got to question Lin's choice to try to go for that late Tier 2 Expo. I mean, the thing is... If the elf is playing one base, you have plenty of time to tech tier three. It's not really going to slow down any of your timings, you know? You're still going to have a gun shaman. You're going to be able to fight. And, uh, yeah, having having the keeper solo come in, cancel that expo repeatedly, later with the AP as well, 
you just can't fight, you know? You're gonna run out of steam with the tier 2 orc army. Grunts, raiders, shamans, they're pretty garbage against the insane elf army with true shot aura, you know, heal spray, 2-1 upgrades. It's just not enough. <clears throat> Echo Isles, a pretty good map for orc, all things considered. Um, there's only one shop, so sometimes you can control that um, pretty well with the blade, being able to buy the scrolls. Um, and there's only one expo per player. So it's not like the elf can drop a third blade base and start hitting running you, which would be kind of tough for the orc. So it's it's just going to be a two versus two base max, and I think that does favor the orc. But it's still a tricky map, especially in the early game. There's a, <clears throat> a lot of timings you need to watch out for the elf. Oftentimes you see when they go for the green camp first, they're just going to take the item, let the treants and the archer, or just the treants finish the trolls, and then run directly to the expo and try to creep that before the blade gets there. What Lin has done in the past is he builds the shop on 16, a little bit forward next to his green camp, which gives him just enough time to take the item and speed scroll over to the gold mine and steal the ogre. It's close though. Like last time I saw him do it, he got there when the ogre was at like 1 HP and barely got the steal. We'll see if uh, Lin wants to go for that. Yeah, uh, other times you can just choose to take the marketplace, but if you take the marketplace, what they can do is just creep the gold line freely, drop down an expo, and you can't cancel it unless you get a greater healing or a greater invul. Demon Hunter first. And if they I don't mean, expo, this, yeah, this must be this it, must be dots. Dots? Oh, demon! It is. It could be dots. Yeah, it could demon. be Loris too. You never know. Elf for Sork on Echo Isles, man. I haven't seen this map in a long time. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like. One of the players always vetoes this. Maybe the elf? I don't know. But um, that was bringing back to the Zotac days, man. Focus versus Remind. Dots against Orc. Bringing me back. Demon Hunter going to be coming out. And yeah, the Archer AOW creep. Going to start off this game. Does Lin try to go for the play? We do see the aggressive shop, like you said. But the timing, not there. Yeah, he sees the DH, so most likely he's just going to finish the full camp. Demon, okay, runs straight across. Going to go for the Ras right away. I don't know if I like this. I think it's better for the Demon to creep. I mean, Mana Burns will come in. The Blade will be probably dry, but... And actually, the Blade taking a lot of damage. This might be a good time for Colorful, actually. Demon nice. can Wind definitely... Right before the uh, mm. Mana Burn, because... Now he has three places to 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 choose from he can go for the shop in the middle or either gold mine basically he's going to try to pick the one place that colorful isn't colorful is going to try to scout as many places as he can a and try to position his dh in a way that he's going to be in position to check anything he pulls the uh marketplace over so it's a little more difficult for lynn to creep it because it Causes the ogre to cast bloodlust. If you stand in the right place, you can cause it to not cast bloodlust. And it also drags seen. the trolls out of position, so you can't stand behind without the ogres attacking you. Lin doesn't actually go for the creep; just go straight for the harass. But I mean, is this really a great play? Because you're you're gonna get what one canceled moonwall, and that's about it. Could go for some wisps as well, but the demon hunter's on his way back. Could force. Uh, okay, nice. Gets two hits on the archer. Yeah, that's more than you probably should have. Is uh, pretty much. Always useless against a competent elf. Okay, speed scroll. Wind walk. Doesn't I mean, this is kind of obvious, like right? Going for the marketplace? Surely, surely colorful reacts. The thing is, he doesn't know if Lin's going for his gold mine or the marketplace, so he has to choose one. But, okay, he thinks Lin's going to come back for the harass. Nope, he's beelining it right now, but it might be too late. I think Lin does get away with this ogre. It's going to be close. Yeah. Nice play from Lin. He's going to be able to get away with it, too. And, yep, Colorful scouts it. Sees the dead corpse, and he goes, Oh, I just missed it. And he must know that the blade, like, is around. Yeah, but he doesn't know where the blade is going to go. He's going to run to the shop to buy dust. So he can track the blade if he ever does find him again. But Lin just kind of being sneaky here. Maybe going to go for a risky creep here at the Mar uh, Merc camp. Hoping that Colorful doesn't scout him. Could cancel the he shop. Okay, yeah, he is going to go for the Merc. Forces are under attack. If Colorful doesn't scout this, this would be huge. A town is under siege. 
Does Colorful yeah, even... Colorful, does Colorful, Colorful has no idea where Lin is. Lin could be creeping his own side, his own Merc camp, uh, or his own gold mine, but it's actually going for Colorful. Yeah, Colorful has no idea that Lin's going for this. He's gonna get the whole camp. He might scout it now. No. Does he see the grunt? I don't think so. Nighttime, you don't see the grunt. And he doesn't really want to commit to tech yet because this, this peon is in his base scouting. He builds the wind outside, but Lin probably going to come in with the blade knowing that Colorful is going to hide his tech just to confirm what it is. Maybe send the grunts to finish this camp down here at the gold mine for level 3 and let his blade scout. I think that would be the play. Almost level 3 for this blade. He does pick okay. up a pendant of energy with the blade as well, which is really good. He he leaves the uh, trappers there because he doesn't want to clear up the expo. I get it, but I mean, the level 3 there is also kind of nice. Not going to go for it, but Colorful's going to be at the front door of Lin. Going to be okay, trying he... to... So, so I think Lin doesn't send his blade to cancel the, the tech because he thinks there's no tech, so it's going to be some sort of like heavy tier 2 pressure. So he runs back to base. Cancel Beast Jerry, and all oh, the burrows are kind of like exposed. Beastmaster coming in too. This is really old school style dots. Yeah, a bit of inefficient movement from Lin, you know? Not canceling the tech and not running back to base immediately kind of takes a detour along the bottom side of the map and loses oh! a lot of buildings. Nice surround there from Lin, but the staff is on the Beastmaster, not going to help. Could get his archer though. No dust. Almost daytime. A little bit of a pause. So relatively even game so far. Lin getting away with the huge creep on Colorful's Merc Camp. But in the meantime, losing a Burrow as well as a Beast Fury. Yeah, the Beast Fury loss is kind of huge. Um, and the Burrow is huge. I mean, that's pretty big harassment, to be honest. Cool Beast coming back in for some more, too. This might affect the Peon uh, Gold Micro. If he burrows too much, okay, he actually uses the wood peons. I don't think he's going to be able to cancel this other bur burrow, but Blade Master trying to right click. And this is actually starting to look good for Colorful. Um, double wins, tier three almost on the way, and he's just starting to pump out dots. And I mean, Lin doesn't even have like raiders. Beast Jerry gets rebuilt, and now he's starting to start that ensnare, but his macro is falling behind, whereas Colorful is just getting cooking. Whoa, Colorful, what are you doing? Be careful there, buddy. You're not getting anything to spin base. Okay. He needs to staff. He needs to staff with the Beastmaster. He's already but used the it. The Beastmaster not... doesn't want to get trapped either. What's he oh. doing? He could have staffed earlier. It's out of range. Oh, no. He could have run in there and staffed and run out. He had a TP as well. Yeah, that was really bad and colorful. I think he thought that the Beastmaster could have got the staff off, but he ends up losing the Demon Hunter with TP at level 2. That's a bit was, of a blunder. Yeah. He was kind of scared of running into the base. He thinks like a something could have trapped him from behind as he ran in, but there wasn't enough space there for Lin to really get that. Lin blocked with the Berserker too. Like uh, the Beastmaster couldn't get in. Yeah, no, but I mean, he had plenty of time to staff before that happened. True, true. Tinker and third, he shouldn't have staffed is... it in the first place. For what? Like a Burrow at 80% with a solo DH? He was never going to get that. True, Lin getting level 2 on his uh, Torrent, but holding off on the ability for now. Surely this might be Shockwave, right? Yeah, it's going to be Shockwave. Yeah. Colorful doesn't really know what he's doing. Just running the Tinker straight towards Lin. Can't find any harassment. He's like, okay, I'm getting nothing here, but I'm not in position to creep either. Oh, Ring. Blade going to run here. Going to grab the item. It gets denied from Colorful. Okay, Lin doesn't get the cool beast, but he will pick up level 3 from the rest of this camp. And I don't think Colorful's in a position to jack Lin at all. So this is really good creeping for Lin, and he's stalling. And look at this. Colorful kind of getting harassed by the blade, and the blade master getting a lot of value out of this. Demon Hunter finally coming back into the fight. That's going to push the blade back for now, but Lin's got everything he needs. Level 3 TC, he's got some raiders, he's got grunts. I think he could take a fight right now. Yeah, he's going to creep up the shop, probably drop into Expo pretty soon. And then move towards Colorful's side of the map to take a fight. Colorful wants to jack this, but he knows he's so far behind from that DH loss, he can't actually fight this. Scroll on the TC. 
Second scroll on the blade. And yeah, Lin just has a huge army now. Two berserkers, two scrolls. He's not going to lose a fight here. Not in the open. Orb of Venom going to be passed over to the Demon Hunter, I suspect. It's on the Tinker right now. There we go. Pass the orb over to the Demon Hunter. But it's only a level 2 Demon Hunter. This isn't very strong. And even the walkers are getting in on this, getting some of the dots. This is a great fight for Lin. It's way too early for the elf. He needs more time, but he's not going to get it. Really nice shockwaves, too. Getting away with a few before the mana burns and cyclones. Lin's kind of destroying Colorful right now. Yeah, not even losing a unit. One grunt might fall here, but that's about it. No more cyclones. The last dot out of range. The other one trying to get in range for a cyclone. Does get the blade, but there's just no units here. GG's called and Lin making that look real easy in game number two. Wow. Yeah, solid game. I mean, a few mistakes from Colorful. Um, not having a Wisp scouting the Ogre. You can actually put a Wisp on the top side of those trees there. So that you can't actually... You can actually see the Ogre through the tree line. You don't actually have to like put your Wisp there at night. Like You can just put it over the top and it can see the Ogre. So he should have known that Lin was creeping that Ogre. He also lost track of him after that. You know, he wasn't following the Grunts. If you follow the Grunts... You can infer where the blade is because he's either going to creep big with his grunts where he's going to solo creep a gold mine or something with his blade, but he didn't follow either of them. He lost track of both, and Lin gets the Merc Camp. And then donating the DH obviously was just really, really bad. Game number three on Northern Isles, Lin versus Colorful. Lin spawning over here in the bottom left. A little bit unlucky with the spawn. You can peel on micro a little bit more efficiently if you spawn in the top right. Just a little imbalance in maps and positions. It's a part of Warcraft, but it is what it is. Lin Colorful will... in the top right. Yeah. Going to place the Ancient of War at the green camp. He likes to do this a lot. There's a couple of things you can do with it. I think Lin, Lin's going to Peon Scout. And Colorful can entangle the Peon. And then try to juke out the Blade Master before the Blade gets there. Or what Colorful can do is... He can go Treants first and finish this camp, run his Keeper straight across the map towards the Orc base, and let his uh, Archers and Treants finish the Murloc camp, the small Murloc camp, which will get him level 2. And with his Keeper across the map, with full mana threatening like 3 or 4 Peon kills, the Blade is kind of forced to follow the Keeper. And then that opens up a really free, fast expansion from the Elf. So, it's... I, I'm interested to see what Colorful does and how Lin responds to that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what Colorful does as well, right? We saw the one base straight up tier 3. Obviously, we know that elves typically make an expansion. So the Keeper, obviously going to be indicative of something going on like that. But uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's hard for orcs to really like... They got to chase that Keeper. You got to see what's going yeah. on. You got to pee on Scout. It, it's so important. In this matchup, the early game decides a lot of games um and there's a lot of crazy things that can happen you know a lot of juking and jiving a lot of peon scouts trying to you know tp staff uh expo timings creeping with just units without your heroes it's up to the orc to sniff out anything the elf might be doing and respond appropriately peon gonna scout that he is going for this camp for the aow and no skill yet. Okay, there's the Treants. Lin goes for the shop of 16, which means he's just going to creep. This ogre pick up the item, and then probably go for the small Murloc camp or run straight across the map. Okay, Circlet. Circlet's a great item for the blade. Does he go to the shop and yeah, get another it's the one? Best one. Uh, he's going to creep just the big Murloc from the small Murloc camp. I believe. Keeper getting some experience of his own too. The Treant's helping out. Going to be level 2 on the Keeper. Peon going to scout the main base. He wants to see what's going on. Yeah, and now Lin runs across the map. But he's not exactly sure where the Keeper is. The Peon doesn't actually see. I think what's more I important though... I feel, like, I feel like Colorful just going for a really passive creep... Not really being too proactive with this keeper. He gets found. But Lin doesn't actually follow the keeper here. 
Lynn actually, the, chase the archers. Actually, if our, if Lynn did, if Lynn did chase course, the archers, course, he would see the expansion up at the top very early. The peon actually going back around to scout. This is perfect timing for Lynn. He's going to be able to see that this expansion is going up. Yeah, but it's actually uncastable with the keeper standing around. Ooh, nice. Horse Dedo on the Wisp. Keeper wrapping back around. But is this uh is this good? I mean, Colorful obviously wants to defend the expansion for a bit longer so that the blade can't cancel it. And then just start creeping again. And the Blade Master taking some damage early and tangles. Gonna lock him in. No dust though on the keeper. But Colorful surely has bought enough time for this tree to at least get up. Won't be canceled by the blade. Yeah. In the uh, colorful in this game, not going for any sort of tricky plays, staff plays. He's just gonna expand early, skip the hunters hall, make a bunch of archers, and ensure that he has an econ economic lead early in the game. I think the best response from Lin is to just play Grunt Shaman, uh, and drop the expo on roughly forty supply with no tower, because you don't need a tower early if the expo is so early from the elf. Lin just trying to do some damage. He won't get this tree and actually the keeper coming back. But I think Lin's done a good job of, of keeping the pressure on because, I mean, uh, Colorful will get close to level 3 with that expan uh, expansion creep. Will he get level 3 from that? No, I don't think quite. so. But, um, yeah, Lin knows that the only thing that Colorful really wants to do right now is creep the expo. So he's maintaining high health, high mana, not really doing anything with his HP and mana pool right now because he knows that... He's just going to wait out Colorful starting this camp. He knows it's going to happen, and then he's going to use his mana to, to harass it. Six the archers now. Are under Seven on the way. Playmaster going to get gonna level two. He's going to pick up level two with the Grunt solo creeping across the map, which is nice. So what is the play right now? Like, at this point, the blade can't right-click the Keeper. Do you just want to creep jack this expansion, and that's the most value you can get right now? Yeah, he just wants to delay Colorful for as long as possible until the Shadow comes out. And then he's going to want to build this expansion as early as he can himself. Okay, the Tree Life is here. The Creep Camp is going to start. Shadow Hunter is coming out as well. And the Grunts are already ready to take that uh, Consumable Camp first. So this will be good creeping for the Shadow Hunter. And the, if Lin can actually get value here, if he can steal some items, steal some XP... Um, the Keeper won't get level 3 from this camp if he gets the whole camp. We know this. Alchemist coming in. Dust being used on the blade. This is a lot of early damage. Great start for Colorful. And this might actually secure the whole camp pretty easily for, uh, for Colorful now. Yeah. Shadowhunter actually goes for Hex first. Because he doesn't see a Huntress Hall, he knows it's only Archers. And the Hex is useful against the Heal Spray. As well as for Hero Focusing. And trying to stick around. He could uh, right-click this gold mine if he wants, but I think he's... Is he gonna is he gonna do that? I think he is. Yeah, he's gonna get one cancel. I believe. No? The town is under siege. Goes for the wisp and the cancel. Two and one. That's a two-for-one special. And uh, yeah, Colorful, kind of... Value. Colorful preoccupied with his null. He's gonna get the null and get, gonna get the item as well. Illyria's flute is so good. Right. I mean, does this composition... Does this composition uh, go for a potum anyway, third? Eventually, yeah. Yeah, you see the tier 3 already. So he was going to get a bottom. It's going to help him a little bit Players in the meantime. And here's the expansion. Don't build a tower, Lin. Just build the expo. You know what to do. <laughs> you know build what to do. <laughs> Anytime now. He's, Stalling got a bit. He's, got the, he's got the resources, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, regen. just like I said, Great Hall without towers. It's the play here when you're playing against the Archer Expo. It's going to take a while for this expansion to go up, but Lin is buying himself some more time. Oh, Dust on the Blade. Could see an Entangle. Actually just gets out of range. Nice for Lin so far. And right now, level 2 Shadow Hunter, you want to be taking some of the camps. The shop is done. You can see that. Actually, Purge coming in on the Archer. And this might be the experience that he needs to get that level 3 Shadow. Picking off some units for free. Another Archer will get him close. Lin in the main base now going to be able to cancel the shop, I believe. And actually a strong timing coming here from Lin. No war mill, so he's got a bunch of grunts and shamans. 
and not that high of an archer count. You know, this was a really fast tier tier three from Colorful. Oh, these are the wisps. But the gold mine gonna be trying to deado on the shamans. They don't get much. Level three shadow, full mana by the way. And now only one wisp mining for Colorful. A bit of a blunder. He's gonna be starting to spam out wisps for the deados, but also for his gold mine. He's not mining at all. What is the blade doing? Blade Master needs to get over here because I feel like this is a good timing for for Lin to actually get some more damage here. Yeah, this is such a greedy tier three timing off one ancient boar. Lin jumping on top of this army. Uh, illusioned alchemist gonna be uh, an issue for now, but actually Lin just speed scrolls right over to the archers. No more purges, but he could pro probably get a few more wasting moon juice is also good. And colorful is just kind of torn. Tier three is on the uh, is done. Doesn't have quite enough for a third hero yet, but I assume the bottom will come out momentarily. There we go. Bottom oh, he's being built. Everything here. A lot of archers gonna go down. Lin tries to block the archers do escape. Colorful just gonna run in circles here while he builds up an army, but with what? Uh, one Ancient of War? He's played so greedy here. I feel like making a second Ancient of War, at least before you start your tier three, is is smart, but Lin just kinda crushing him here. Yeah, Lin doing really well. No way to stop the Shadow Hunter from uh healing and hexing. And actually, oh, Purge on the Keeper. He's out of range. You might have to force the TP, but the Hex comes in. If the Blade was here, that'd be a dead Keeper. It might be anyway, but the Keeper does get away. Really tricky play. Where is the Blade Heel for throw. Lin? Lin's Heel Blade is AFK. Oh, it, it, he chased down an Archer. He needs to run it back now. That could have been a dead Keeper, 100%. He's actually going to lose a Shaman right now. Priestess of the Moon coming back here. in. Where's the Shop? Shop's super late. That's the Orb of Venom. Super delayed. This is still a great fight for Lin, actually. A lot of damage going on the Priestess of the Moon as well. Don't want to lose that Shaman and Tangle. Might lock it in, but also... Hex? Hex? Hex is there. Wait Hex is the there. Blade. I think that's a dead Keeper. Oh, it's going to be so close. Oh my god, 3 HP TP. But he's out of Moon Juice, and he's stuck in his main. This is going to be the end for Colorful. Colorful's in a, still in dire straits. Surround on the Priestess. Gets blocked a bit. He does get out, but he's still going to die. Blade Master uses a bit of his mana. Keeper dead. Priestess dead. Chasing down the Alchemist now. Yeah, Colorful at 40 supply. Is he finally mining? He's mining, but, you know, he's kind of lost everything. Second AOW trying to be built. He does have uh, capabilities for 50 supply, but GG's called. And Lin, dude. Lin. What? Putting the pressure on him. That was crazy. Pretty, pretty cut and dry game, you know? Scraping level three. I like the hex against uh, no huntresses, but I mean, man, it's it's up to Colorful to build that second age of war. Like, how do you just tech tier three off one base or two bases with one ancient of war? Yeah, it's, it's it's tough. He's been doing that a lot too, uh, getting away with it on concealed. But Ni Lin with the pressure, good shadow hunter creeping, and I actually like the decision from Lin to go 2.5 shadow and start pushing. And he got level three from the the harass instead of going for another camp. Uh, he could have went for the marketplace, got in trouble, could have went for another camp and got level three and bought colorful more time. But I really like that pressure on the shadow, and he saw the timing and it worked out beautifully. Lin with the two one.